there welcome back to my channel i have been a little absent in this minimalist series i think it's been at least over a month and i've been trying to put them up um the thing is and i'll be honest i have already decluttered my guest bedroom and i just forgot to film the intro outro so it's literally it's been like a month and a half at least of that being decluttered and i'm right now doing this like intro video so um the after may change like a tiny bit just because i sold some poshmark stuff i might have added a few things to the organizer you'll see um but yeah if anything looks just a smidge different it's because like it's literally like weeks have gone by also i would highly suggest you sticking around to the end of the video because there is going to be a special surprise let's get into the decluttering okay so here is the before if any of you actually saw the reel before though, um, I will mention a few things are missing in here, but I'll get to that. So, um, of course, Chester, <laughs> and this is the closet. I forgot to bring all of this stuff into my closet declutter because I totally forgot I had anything in here because I don't use any of it. Um, a lot of it's like stuff on Poshmark that I'm just going to go ahead and donate. Um, and then like robes. There's only two robes I actually use. We'll get to it. I'm going to declutter obviously all of this in this video. And then I have a bunch of like Chester stuff, vacuums, and like packing supplies and more like Chester stuff. And I think there's I don't know, there's stuff underneath them there. So that's gonna be fun, huh? And then when you come into here, I'll go ahead and close the door because there's a few things behind it. I have, this I got for Christmas. It's for my office. And this is something I use for Instagram. I'm gonna end up throwing that away. I have a ton of books over here. This all need to be sorted through. I did have my makeup thing, but as you saw my makeup declutter, if any of you watched it, I went ahead and I got rid of the whole filing system and then all of my makeup obviously is gone. I have just random stuff in there. I have receipts, way more books behind my lighting. I have, um, that's a donation pile. I already sorted through it a while ago. I just haven't like done it yet. So I'm going to be getting rid of that. That's a giveaway um, bin. So that's all stuff that I'm actually going to be giving away on my channel. That's my new makeup storage. So all of my makeup is in there. So these two organizers, this is actually everything I'm selling on Poshmark. So I'm going to leave that. I'm not really going to mess with it. I've already kind of sorted through it, but it's all like organized by category. And then I have shoe boxes. I don't know if I'm weird, but I don't like keeping shoe boxes. And I don't know why I dubbed those special enough to keep, but I'm going to be getting rid of them. Do you any of you keep? I feel like a lot of people keep them. I just don't really understand it. This is like patio furniture <laughs> that I just have in here. Uh, this is all Poshmark packaging stuff. I'll probably just organize it a little bit, but I do need it. And like I go through and run out of packaging all the time. I have no idea what's all in this. We'll find out. Um, this is just like stuff that I use to help. This is a bed, obviously, but stuff that I have on here um, helps me package, but there needs to be a better way to organize it. And then lastly, just like Chester's kitty tree that he does use, and then I use it too when I'm writing like thank you notes on Poshmark. I guess let's just first take everything out of the closet and put it in the middle there. P.S. the rug, my sister already asked if she could have it, so I'm gonna end up giving that to her. So we'll put everything that I'm getting rid of in the middle there. Anthony's mom wanted me to give her my plastic hanger, so I have a lot to give away. Um, I have, which you didn't see my living room, which I had my winter gloves and stuff. I didn't have any scarves in there. Um, I'm keeping three scarves just because Ohio gets, like, in the negatives sometimes in the winters, and I need something. Um, I'm probably going to try to cut it down to, like, one or two once winter rolls around and I see what I'm actually using. I'm getting rid of all of those scarves because I just don't need that many. Um, I'm selling, I used to work at a bridal shop, so I have a ton of formal dresses. I'm going to be selling one of these. This is a Bill Lovecoff. Um, it's really pretty. I think it's still a current style, and I know that I can probably get some money out of that one. I'm selling um, or donating a ton of other Bill Love. That was my favorite designer at the store that I worked at, at that particular shop. Um, so I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of those. 
and then of course I have robes that I'm getting rid of and then a ton of t-shirts I'm just getting rid of all of those I really surprised me because I held on to them for so long that it was so easy to get rid of them this I just wanted to show you guys this was my freshman homecoming dress I loved this so so much I was like one of the only girls that actually wore color that year everyone was in black it was so weird um but I'm just like it's kind of sad letting it go but I'm never gonna wear it again and someone going to homecoming is gonna love that Oh, and then here is a flower girl dress. Now, I believe this is my this is my sister's room that we're in. This is where she grew up. I believe this was her flower girl dress. I had an identical one. Um, it's really, really, really out of date. I don't think anyone is going to want this. We'll see. I'll give it to Goodwill anyways. This is stuff that I want to keep. So... I have this dress garment bag. It's just nice, and I don't have any garment bags, so I wanted to keep that. Um, this one is going to be, like, a maybe for me. You guys don't see it, but, like, when I'm living in my own place, like, all I want to wear are robes. So I figured if I have, like, three in my stash, that's a good amount instead of having what I had, it's like, ten. And um, I just have my big my winter fluffy robe and this is like from it was a missoni for target line i love that i got that on clearance when it came out and i was just like shocked that i could even find it because it sold out within like minutes at the store and then i have this is like a sentimental piece i did keep some of them this is me at um preschool with my face on it so how could you get rid of that i'll probably keep it here at my parents house and not like take it with me though when i move and then, um, I'm not, I'm still debating. This is a Christmas sweater. I think they're fun, especially when you're working in a school to, like, wear during, like, November and December. That's the only issue is, like, do I really want it for two months? But I think it's cute, and I think, like, working in a school, they like that kind of stuff. And then I'm just keeping, I think, like, five t-shirts. I'm going to cut that down some. But those are just, like, the sentimental ones that I wanted to keep. We'll see if I actually wear them to the gym or not. If not, they're going to go. But I'm going to put this all back in my closet. Next is just a bunch of random stuff that was laying either on the floor um, like this or above. So let's go through. I think all of this is pretty much going to go. Okay, so I went through, um, I'll show you, this is a journal that I took with me to Europe um, when I went in I think my sophomore year of high school and just has like, it's like a diary. I think I'm going to hold on to this for right now. Um, I also am holding on to, I kept like one of my favorite books from when I was little. It's just this like bunny book and it has these little stickers that you can put on and off the pages like wherever you want them. So I'm going to hold on to that. Um, and this is like the special of the special stuff that I've kept from when I was little. Um, this is my acrobatics like good luck charm. And I had like little things on it. And I apparently was really proud of winning whatever this one was. Um, it was probably like regionals or something. I think I am going to get rid of this though because it just doesn't spark anything anymore. So... I'll say goodbye to her. She was good in the moment, though.
gonna tackle this area right here. I did pull out this clothing rack and put all this clothes on it that I had from like my closet and then in the like weird donation bag over here, which is now obviously hanging. These are the books that I deemed worth keeping and I have like um, photo albums and cookbooks down there too. And what I do is I'm not like super attached to books so as I read them I will donate them. So these are the ones that I'm gonna hopefully get through and I'm gonna actually hold myself accountable to reading more because I found a lot in there and I just forgot I had. Um, those are all gonna go to my office. They're all counseling books that I think that I'll probably use but again like in my office I want to keep it pretty clutter free so if I find myself not pulling them. Um, I'll go ahead and get rid of them. And then these are all the books that I am donating. I have a lot of like counseling books in there too that I just don't think are going to be very relevant to what I'm doing. And um, a bunch of like older books from when I was like a teenager also. So I'm going to pile those up and put them in a bag to go. So I'm going to keep the coasters. I don't have any. Um, and they're papers. They probably won't stay good too long, but it'll be nice to use for now. I have um, a very old Polaroid camera. I'm going to keep that. They were actually, I was at the store and they were selling it for like $60, like used um, at this tech store I went to over the weekend. My Spice Girl CD, I'm going to keep that. And then I have a bunch of old coins that I'm keeping underneath of it. And then I'm going to keep the um, hot glue gun because I always lose them. I'm going to donate. I have over here just more stuff um, from just like the floor. So I'm going to clean this area up and <laughs> move on to more stuff Oh, while we're over here. Um, I am going to put this Ipsy bag into a giveaway. And then the one underneath of it is like a shopper tote. I don't have any anymore. The one in my car I had to throw away because like it was the letters were peeling off all over my seat. So I'm going to replace that one with this one. So that's what those are. So I'm going to move everything real fast. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this Build-A-Bear. I don't need him anymore. He needs a new home. Um, this Beanie Baby needs a new home. And this looks cute on the bed. This duck beanie baby needs a new... I'm not sure why I kept some of these, um, to be honest. And lastly, I have this penguin, and I really like him. And I may hold on to them and see if my niece or nephew wants him, because they like animals, and I think they might actually like this one. So I'm going to be working on getting all of these clothes in the clothing rack out. Um, all of this is like stuff that I use for like shipping. And then I have two um, rolls of paper for gifts and stuff. So I'm going to, once everything's clear, have a better organization for it. But all of this is going to go.
when you walk in, this is what you see. You got uh, my little storage closet. I have two vacuums. One of them's going with me. One is staying here. I have my camera equipment along the bottom that'll be leaving soon. I have my robes and then one Christmas sweater that I just like I think I'm still gonna get rid of it. I'm not positive. We'll see once winter rolls around. And then I have my college master's graduation robe, which I'm hopefully gonna sell to someone next year. And then I just have my sentimental t-shirts. I think I might just get rid of those. I've tried wearing them in the process and like, I just don't want to. And that's all like picture frames to go into the new place. I have my receipts. If any of you have suggestions on what to do with receipts to make them PDF or like, you know, where I don't have to actually keep them physically, please let me know. Some Chester and cleaning stuff. And I have photos there. And then you walk over here and in this corner. So everything right here and right there. And then this adorable thing I got from Home Goods the other day, which is perfect. I like I need this on my desk at school. That's all going into my office next week when I move in. And then um, my school office. And then this is just a bookshelf with books. I think I'm going to declutter more of those books. I think that some of them are too like immature for me at this point. So I'm just going to donate those. I have a trash con there. This is all empty now. This is going to go into my new apartment as a shoe organizer because my other shoe organizer, um, I just think it'll look nicer being smaller. I don't need as big of like this organizer for my shoes anymore. I'm in makeup. You saw that during the declutter. This is all of my Poshmark stuff. So I'm desperately trying to get rid of it because I'm not going to move with it. So whatever I don't get rid of is just going to be donated because there's no point in like moving with that. But there's some really nice things in there. So I highly suggest you check it out and make me an offer if you want any of it. Um, I have this and we have a deck in the new place. So I'm going to put that out on the deck. And then the rest of the room is all right here. Chester's kitty tree. He definitely needs that. I actually need to get him a new one because if you can see, I got this on eBay uh, like years ago, probably when I got Chester. So like six, over six years ago, he has destroyed it. Like it is not usable anywhere. Like he can't even claw, like he clawed it all out. So I'm getting in a new one. This will go to the curb. And then there's just a day bed there. Kinley, my niece, will probably end up taking over this room soon. And then in here I just have um, a few linens for the bed, so I'm not taking any of that. And then I just have some like shipping material. Empty basket. I think I'm going to put that on the porch with this stuff. And then I'm not sure if I want to keep those or not. I'm still debating. Let me know what you think. I was thinking possibly just having that as kind of like an end table in the living room area. I don't know. It just depends what the couch looks like. But yeah, so this is my decluttering. I thought it... <laughs> It looked so much better than what it did, so I'm not taking all of this with me, but at least the storage unit, this is going to end up being pretty empty of a room. So I hope you liked it. I um, actually am moving like in a few weeks, so I need to get the rest of this Poshmark stuff out, so definitely leave me an offer if you want any of it. I might even do like a separate video just on Poshmark, but now to what you might be actually staying for. It's the giveaway. I'm just going to show you everything that you're gonna get. This is open to all like US and international subscribers. As long as you can get a package from the US, you are open to getting it. And it's all random. Like it doesn't matter what you type in the comments below, it's not gonna help you any more or less. So a lot of this is like brand new, all of it's like new. Um, Pixie stuff a lot because I am on their PR list and I give everything to you guys that I either don't think I'll be able to try out or I already have like so much of it. Like, you know, I can't keep this stuff. You saw it in my makeup with clutter. I have too much and now I'm like at to where like I feel good with what I have. The Ipsy bag is actually something I got from Gin Beauty and like when I was decluttering I was like I don't necessarily need this but I don't want to get rid of it because I think it's super special and super cool and even if you're not a student I think that you can use it so um, everything will come packaged inside of that. So to win the giveaway all you have to do is be a subscriber of mine and then simply leave a comment on the bottom of this video telling me what you are most excited for about fall coming up. Is it the lattes? Is it the leaves, the smell? I personally am super excited for the weather because 
um, air conditioning in my car. And if that doesn't get fixed soon, I'm going to die. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will actually be doing my bathroom declutter like ASAP because I don't have it much time. So I actually already did the declutter. I just need to do the intro outro. I've been like really lazy. Okay, okay. Love you so much. Goodbye. Well,